Eleven Labs has a number of high-quality AI speech tools, and in this video I'll teach you how to get the most out of one of their core features, text-to-speech. I'll help you improve the pace and tone of your sentences, correct mispronounced words, and get you working more efficiently with longer scripts. All right, it's time to master text-to-speech. Now, if you still need to sign up for an Eleven Labs account, you can do this by clicking on the affiliate link in this video's description. The Eleven Labs text-to-speech technology transforms text into high-quality, realistic speech. Ready to discover how you can create high-quality speech with Eleven Labs? This tutorial will teach you how to master text-to-speech. When generating speech from text, you'll be charged by the number of characters written. If you look over at Settings, you'll see Eleven Labs has different voice models available to generate speech. I'm using the recommended model, Multilingual V2, but you can try other models that cost less characters. I'll also mention the speech I just created can be regenerated two more times without costing additional characters, so long as I don't make any additional changes to the text. All generated versions I create can be accessed and downloaded by clicking on History. So let's say the speech I just generated didn't quite sound the way I wanted. I can simply click on Regenerate Speech to try and get a change to the pace and emphasis. But I can also adjust settings like stability and similarity to see if that affects the output. Ready to discover how you can create high quality speech with Eleven Labs? This tutorial will teach you how to master text to speech. That sounds a little different, but if that still doesn't match how I want that sentence to sound, there are ways to put an emphasis on certain words. Sticking with the same example, let's say I want the word you to be emphasized in the first sentence and master in the second. I can simply change those words to all caps and generate a new clip. Ready to discover how you can create high quality speech with Eleven Labs? This tutorial will teach you how to master text to speech. That definitely put an emphasis on the words I wanted. Quotes can also be used around words for a similar effect. Ready to discover how you can create high quality speech with Eleven Labs? This tutorial will teach you how to master text to speech. In addition to stressing certain words, you can also try pacing a sentence by adding commas. These examples I've provided are dealing with pacing within a sentence, but if you're not getting a long enough pause between sentences, dashes come in handy in this situation, or simply starting the next sentence on a new line. But if you want to create a pause of a specific length, you can add a syntax prompt. By using this syntax, you can create a break of 1.5 seconds in between sentences. So let's try this example. How long will you have to wait for an answer? about one and a half seconds. To change the length of the break, simply change the number in the syntax. Eleven Labs recommends breaks no longer than three seconds. Now you may also want to give your speech a certain emotional tone. One way to try achieving this is to write out your text like a fiction book by adding descriptions. So let's try this sentence first. Are you sure about that? She said confused. And then you would just need to edit out she said confused before using the clip. Let's try one more example, starting with, I can't take this anymore, without using any prompts. I can't take this anymore. And now I'll add, he shouted angrily to the end of the sentence. I can't take this anymore, he shouted angrily. All right, definitely a more intense tone there. Adding exclamation points can also help in getting a more intense voice, as can making a sentence all caps. I can't take this anymore. Now you may want to experiment with different voices as well, as some respond to certain prompts better than others. Next up is the issue of pronunciation. If you have a word that can be pronounced in different ways, such as leisure, leisure, root, route, either, either, Eleven Labs might not generate the speech in the way you want the word said. To deal with pronunciation issues, Eleven Labs recommends wrapping words using the speech synthesis markup language. You can use either the International Phonetic Alphabet, the IPA, or the CMU ARPABET. You can find more details about these features in the Eleven Labs Help Center. Now, I spent some time experimenting with these prompts, and the results were mixed. I used the IPA method, testing it with the word aunt ant, and was able to get Eleven Labs to pronounce it both ways. Should I call my mother's sister Aunt Vivian or Aunt Vivian? 
But I tried this with other words like address, address, tomato, tomato, and was not as successful. So you can try experimenting more yourself, but an easier solution for aunt, aunt. If you write out the word as normal, let's say Eleven Labs keeps pronouncing it as aunt, you could simply take out the U and use the word aunt. I think I'll call her Aunt Vivian. Purposely misspelling words in a more phonetic way is also a good strategy when trying to force a specific pronunciation. Is it tomato or tomato? It doesn't work every time, but try it on your own and let me know about your results in the comments below. So I've provided a lot of tips on how to get words pronounced in specific ways and how to shape the expression when generating speech. But there are some workflow limitations in the text-to-speech section. And when you add text in this section, it's generated all at once. So if you want to fix parts within a long stretch of speech, regenerating the whole thing can be a bit irritating. You could generate the speech a couple sentences at a time, but doing that could get tedious if you have a lot of text. The alternative is using the studio section. Only available in paid accounts, the studio section, previously known as the project section, is designed for the creation of long-form audio content, like audiobooks, podcasts, and lengthy documentary narration, with the ability to alternate between multiple voices when writing out your text. Additionally, you can insert a break without the need for a syntax prompt. So I'll continue by creating a project from scratch, and let's say it's narration for a long-form documentary about sharks. I'll choose Start from Scratch, stick with Multilingual V2 as the model, and keep the quality as standard. Note that if you want to use other quality settings, you'll need to be on the pro plan or higher. With the new project created, I'll give it a name. Let's say World of Sharks. Clicking on Chapters reveals the Chapters sidebar. I'll rename the first one Intro and continue creating additional chapters. Then over on the right, I'll select a voice. So let's go into the Great White chapter where I can add text for the narration. Now I'll just add one paragraph to use as an example. So the script I've added about Great White Sharks is all in one paragraph. If I click to Generate, all the speech will be generated at once. But if I separate the sentences into different paragraphs, the speech will generate one sentence at a time. I'll get started with the first sentence. Great white sharks are one of the most iconic and feared predators of the ocean. All right, sounds good, but I'm looking to control the pacing and tone a little bit more. So I'll add a comma after great white sharks and make iconic all caps. Great white sharks are one of the most iconic and feared predators of the ocean. All right, great. Now let's try the second one. Found in coastal and offshore waters, these apex predators are known for their streamlined bodies, powerful tails, and serrated triangular teeth designed for tearing prey. All right, well, that sounded good. And normally I would just move on to the next sentence. But just to give another example, let's make known all caps. And I'll add a dash between teeth and design just to make sure there's a pause there. Found in coastal and offshore waters, these apex predators are known for their streamlined bodies, powerful tails, and serrated triangular teeth designed for tearing prey. All right, good. After generating all the speech throughout the entire project, I'll go and convert it. The next screen provides the ability to convert the project as a whole or as individual chapters. Converting a project ensures all the text has been generated to speech before your audio file is downloaded. After downloading, you can always go back to your project and make changes. Then download those changes on their own or download the entire updated project. Each version is saved and accessible by clicking on versions. Now, these tips and tricks should help you in creating quality speech with Eleven Labs. But if the inflection, tone, and pace are still not coming out just the way you want, there is another tool you can use, the Voice Changer. If you want to learn more about getting quality results from the voice changer, watch my next video right here.